So we're going to try this again, but already I'm having issues where OBS was freezing. Um, I noticed my audio is kind of terrible, but you got to also thank my current setup for that. Um, yeah, I'm, I don't know why I'm peeking into the red when I have it so far down. But anyway, today's video is another re-recording of showing that we have bypassed res modding uh, after the recent patch. The recent patch actually um, patched res modding, and just on a whim, uh, Demorph and I, we were chatting on Discord, and we realized that <laughs> there's a very stupid way to bypass for res mods, but this isn't like a tutorial. This is a hey, this works, let's show you how to do it, but we're gonna make something for you guys to make it easy. Kitty cat's playing with my keyboard, that's weird. I have a keyboard on the floor. Anyway, um, so I'm basically just gonna show you guys the game working and hope that the encoder buffer overflow doesn't happen again. I have replay buffer enabled, so it should be fine. And I also am doing the encoding by hardware now instead of software. So it's going through my GPU. So far, it looks so good. I'm going to make sure that this is actually a good recording this time, I hope. But something I talked about in the other video, since I privated that one. Um, would you guys be interested in videos? They aren't so much like unboxings, more as they're just like the cool look into my life basically of the stuff that I own, the cool stuff I find at like secondhand shops and things like that. Uh, would you be interested in videos like that? I'd love to show you guys the cheap computer parts that I get. You know, the first video, I might do like a pilot episode. Um, I do have a camera finally that I could use to record these. So I'll do like a pilot episode and I'll use maybe my AMD RX 560s that I got for example. Um, I'll explain how I got them, what I paid for them, that's the wrong password. I'll explain how I got them, how I paid for them, um, and then the next video, in the beginning of the next video, I would say, okay, I sold them for this much and made this much profit, or I decided to keep them and use them and they're being used in this way. I have... A bunch of stuff that's really cool. I've got computers. The computer that I'm on right now that I'm recording this video on is a bunch of parts Frankenstein together from a bunch of computers that I've bought over time. Um, there's uh, some other cool stuff like home everything from home decor to classic electronics for guitars or game consoles like the Commodore 64. I haven't posted pictures or anything of that thing anywhere online yet. And I'd love to show you guys that thing in action. Tell you guys how much I bought it for versus how much I'm going to sell it for. I have an old uh, analog echo machine for guitar that I bought for super cheap. That is worth a lot of money that I'd love to make a video about. Uh, show you guys that thing working. And there's just a bunch of other stuff like my guitar amps. I have a guitar that I paid $300 for that's worth like a grand. Um... I got a guitar for free from a friend that's actually worth like a grand and a half. Um, yeah, just videos like that. It would be a lot of fun, I think. Uh, there's some Pokemon cards. There's some stuff like that, too. So, you know, a little bit of stuff for everybody. But I am going to... So back to CA since it's loaded. And it looks like the recording's going all right. It's a little laggy on the recording. But let's get into a game. Now, I'm not actually going to be able to, like, play play, quote-unquote, because, uh, basically my mouse is like a laptop touchpad. It's garbage. So, I don't really expect this to go very well as far as actually playing. I'm more just logging into a server, logging into a game to show you that the res mods are indeed patched. And as you can see down in the corner, it is the 27th of July, 2019. It's actually 6.38 at night. Um, EST, not 4.30. But yeah, everything works. 
I got the bypass working. Um, like I said, if we do a release, it's going to be a very simple release as far as a loader of some sort where it's very easy for you guys to just add your mods to a list of some kind, maybe. And then from there, we'll uh, go in and just have everything be done behind closed doors while the game's already running or something like that. Um, I don't want to give too much away because, yes, it took them eight months to patch the previous ResMod bypass. They're showing initiative, which means they might try if they even have a hint of how the current one is done. So, like I said, big shout out to uh, Demorph. Um, as we were talking on Discord, we thought it was really funny that this bypass was so easy. There is um, maybe two other bypasses that I have an idea for, personally. So, like, if this one goes down, we have backup and backup, hopefully. And it'll just be really easy. So, either way, we can still have some fun with combat arms. So, if you guys are interested in a ResMod bypass, let us know in the comments. Because we're kind of in the spot of, well, CA is really dead. Do we really want to release anything? So, let us know in the comments. Um, you know, a release will happen eventually... I don't know how we're thinking about going at it as far as the release. Um, because obviously we want the Lith Tech Archival website to do well. Um, right now it's sitting fairly dead and dormant, but now that I got a computer that I can actually run CA stuff on, I'll be able to do more with CA personally. Um, and from there, just we'll figure it out. Uh, maybe a release on MPGH, maybe not. I don't know. If it's even worth releasing, we don't know. Just let us know in the comments, and we'll talk to you. Oh my god, what the f*** did I just do? We'll talk to you. <laughs> or, I'll talk to you again in some video some other time. Um, hit me up pretty much anywhere. I don't know why I'm up there to end the video. But, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.